What's going on guys? Welcome back to another new release review video. Uh, this week Upper Deck CFL came out on Wednesday so we're going to take a look at a box of that here and review the set. Uh, some pretty hardcore Canadian content here. Obviously this is a Canada only set being the Canadian Football League so I guess we're going to have two Canada only release videos in a row with uh, World Juniors Team Canada coming out next week but it is what it is. 2024 release of CFL uh, with the newer uh, the newer format that they went to with the last year, 2023, the new like same as flagship hockey set uh, with the eight packs per box, 12 cards per packs, multiple inserts per, per pack. They used to always be the 24 pack box with uh, like single insert per pack model. And uh, yeah, I love doing CFL. These videos never do very good, but that's okay. It's just fun for me to open them. I am a big CFL fan, uh, rider fan, definitely a rider fan. And uh, yeah, like look, love cards in general, but I like the CFL cards, even though if it's like a pretty niche product here, but being that it is a niche product, it's on the cheaper side, all things considered, this was $109.95, um, seems to be the going rate-ish online between $109 and $120-ish, and uh, yes, one of the very few products still in existence, from Upper Deck at least, that three hits per box, they can be, of course, autographs, mem cards, odds are you're going to get like a mem card and an autograph, and then another mem, potentially another autograph, there probably will be boxes out there that are just three jersey cards, hopefully that's not what this is but it is a possibility so trying to make this video quicker than i usually do so uh pretty short base set with this one only 100 cards in the base set so basically just the best players in the league you're not going to get any bums in here per se um with any sport there's a few guys at the top that people are collecting anyway so there's really maybe 10 guys in here who are actually collectible but at least it's not you know, a 250 card base set. It does make it nice and a pretty simple set. It's pretty crazy to review this after I did the last video of my portfolio golf video, which was like 10 sets in one, which was turned out to be actually pretty crazy and pretty hard to review. Um, this will be pretty easy because it's pretty simple. So like I said, 100 card base set. This is the 2022-23 upper deck look. Like they look like the hockey cards, that same style. Um, they're basically entirely that card and then parallel versions of it with one insert, the CFL greatness. So out of the 100 cards, 20 of them are the CFL NFL greatness cards and then the other cards are just the regular ones that look like hockey so you are getting the same parallels of uh all the cards of the two different kinds of cards the base cards and the greatness cards uh you're getting a gold gold variation or parallel one of those per pack there's deluxe to 250 exclusive to 100 high gloss to 10 and then black one of ones of both the, like i said the base and the greatness so aside from that the other inserts are autograph mem cards or a combination of the two and those are both based on the main set and that's it so base autographs fall one and eight uh one one and 180 for the cfl greatness autographs you can get jersey versions of both of them for one and nine for the regular ones for the base uh jersey cards and cfl greatness jersey cards are one and 60 yeah numbered hits include the game patch autograph to 99 uh, regular game patch to 35 and, and cfl greatness cfl logo patch that's uh, one of one so that's pretty much it very simple 20 box cases 10 box inners uh, yeah so in each box here we're gonna get uh as it states on the box three autographs or mem cards uh eight shield numbered cards 13 gold parallels and eight cfl for greatness or short prints and that's it so definitely a niche set but it has its audience definitely a few uh few hardcore cfl collectors out there so vernon adams jr or vag as i like to joke when they call him there this also comes on an EPAC every year if that's your thing. So some of the guys, American friends who can't get this stuff anywhere, you can at least get it on EPAC. If it's, there are some American CFL fans. I know there are a few at least. So I, realized I didn't even I didn't show the back of the box. So real quick, if you want to see it. There you go. So pretty straightforward. Like I said, it's uh, CFL greatness and the base set and CFL greatness are 9 to 1. So you actually get an extra one in there, which is interesting. So one of these packs isn't going to have a number card, but uh, 1 to 1 for the parallel cards. That's the golds. And then... Uh, Autographs, blah, 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 one and four, one and eight. So pretty simple. So there we go. Very first CFL greatness card. So there's Adam Korzak, who uh, is usually the punter. He also, he's a, a punter and also he holds the ball for uh, Lowther to kick field goals. So interesting that that's at the front. Ba, 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 printed in Canada. Cool. So it's awesome. They print them in Canada. Makes sense. Why ship them all over the world? They're just staying here in Canada. So I had no idea that Adam Korzak was Australian. So that's pretty cool. So, all right, there you go. And then there's your base design. So it's basically 2223 flagship, but uh, not as glossy. It's not as glossy of finish. So different manufacturer, different paper, similar back to the, obviously have different stats for football than you do for, this guy has no stats. This guy just has game played or games played in the team he was on. And that's it for stats. Are they all like that? That's where those are QB, Trevor Harris. Riders just clinched a playoff spot, which I always laugh because there, there's a proper amount of stats. <laughs> What's up with that other guy? I don't know why they did Deshaun Allen. Deshaun Allen got done dirty by Upper Deck. Um, I always laugh when you clinch the playoffs, playoff spot in the CFL when there's, you know, like eight teams. So 
two teams don't make the playoffs. It's always funny, but the Riders are in anyway. Patrick Newfield, so you need a whole bunch of... Ah, so here's a Deluxe, so this would be... Where do they number it? Because Deluxe are to 250. Oh, they're numbered on the back. It's very weird that the Deluxe is... Um, oh, there you go. So nice. We got them twice. Michael Alway. So Deluxe is just blue instead of the usual sort of... The, well, that's gold. So gold right behind there. So instead of the T orange, I guess, there's no really rhyme or reason to how they what color they use, but Deluxe is blue and numbered. So 153 of 250 there. So and they don't even get any any foil or anything like that. At least the deluxe on the uh, hockey version has like a blue foil. So there we go. And so we got two golds in a row here. So Michael Awe or Awe and Reggie Stubblefield. And then uh, more base. How many cards? Yeah, 12 cards per pack. You get a lot of cards in each pack. Forget about that. So and more base are another CFL greatness. Deshaun Allen, Brito Oliveira, who... Yes, this is one thing I should also mention. It's a holdover set. So even though this is 2024, the players will all be on their 2023 teams. So mo oh, some of them I know I will remember have moved, but some I'll have forgotten. All right. Derek Mills. Kickers, kickers, kickers. Kevin Brown. So, uh, this, is this just going to be a theme? We're going to have guys back to back. So nice we get them twice. There we go. So we have another. No, nope, Darius Pickett. Good defensive back. So this is a CFL greatness deluxe. So there's, yeah, it's like I said, the same parallels of each one. So, so there's Tim White, 147 to 250 on the deluxe. Just sort of a blue version. No, like, foil or anything. There's actually no foil on these cards, interestingly enough, now that I'm looking at it, which is kind of weird. Yeah, foilless design. All right, then behind that, it should just be a gold at Boris Speed. I have so many Boris Speed cards. If I'm going to get an auto, it's probably going to be Boris Speed. That's right, he moved to the... Uh, Elks from the, or he was on the uh, Argonauts forever. All right, Wesley Sutton, Willie Jefferson, of course, he's in here. Nick Dembski, and Tyson Philpott. So, yeah, there's literally zero foil on these, which uh, could be the future for hockey cards, the way things are going. They keep reducing the foil more and more in flagship. So, I mentioned there's two golds in that pack again. So, we got Demary Houston, regular CFL greatness. Still no. Thick card. You got one that's got a wonky corner there. So, so far, the quality seems okay. Other than kind of a cheap, but it's a cheaper set. So, I don't actually mind. Sort of like, it's like a cross between like flagship and like OPG for a hockey card. Stand back, stubble field again. Bryce Carter, 100 card base set. Definitely going to get some uh, some repeats. Ryan Hunter on the deluxe. She's an Argonaut. 181 of 250. So, you're going to get a few of these. Makes sense. Vernon Adams Jr. So, there's a cover boy in the. Uh, Gold parallel, another gold parallel, right? I think they don't say gold on them. So they do say, they say actually do say gold on them. So that's kind of nice. Say gold on them. Another gold? You're getting a ton of golds in here. So this is gold as well. Yeah, so another gold. So two golds. So let me stand back. So nice little BC Lions pack. You can hot again. There's Willie Jefferson. Legend in Winnipeg. As much as I hate Winnipeg, he definitely is. And BDM. All right. Thick card in here, probably just a jersey. And if I'm remembering correctly, the last year, 2023, uh, I had more inserts than I should have gotten as well. So maybe that's the way it's going to be this year again. Get more golds than you think. So Leak. See if I greatness there. But Reggie Bagleton. Sean White. So I mean, they are definitely good players. So Sean McEwen. Another deluxe. Get tons of deluxes. 37 of 250. Hopefully get a jersey number. So... That is Shuk Chung, Brady Oliveira, jersey card. All right, so there's your, let's just be based behind that. So there's hit number one, just a white napkin, which, yeah, Blue Bombers away jerseys are white. I'm trying to think where that would come off of. All game used, by the way, so yeah, certified to have game. Certified to have been game used. Game used football memorabilia there. So it's all game used, which is nice. Not hard in CFL. It's not like the jerseys are super sought after, but I'm trying to think, I'll have to look at the Winnipeg's away jersey but well there's he's a very good running back so not a bad card but just the base jersey design there so kind of interesting they just chose to tuck it down in the corner there using the base design interesting so i say the set is set it feels a little more basic than last year but i'm thinking back i don't think there actually was much there's maybe one other insert i can't remember anymore but oh it just feels it feels pretty basic which is again easy to review which is nice so Judge, so first exclusive, which should be 200. And Blue Bomber of Dalton Sean, good wide receivers. So this one is, yes, just a red bottom instead of blue. That'll be the difference. Yeah, pretty much. Beauty exclusives are usually red. So level 100 for Sean there. Jersey number, no, of course not. Behind that, we'll have our gold. 
And it looks like it's going to be our auto. So, so maybe it's sideways? No, that's right. The uh, regular ones are just uh, also oddly just stickers that are kind of tacked on the side, which is, it is what it is. So, uh, eight, uh, Nick Dembski. Okay, reasonable. He's a good wide receiver, been in the game a long time. Eight year totals. Yeah, he's been in the league eight years. So, been around for a long time. So, there you go. So, an interesting uh, design choice to stick them on the side. You can see they like they designed it with like a white area there. That that's what they planned on doing it. It wasn't like an afterthought, but very weird to not have it down there. I don't know if I like it, but there you go. So we have an auto and a auto in a jersey, which is kind of what I expect. So Sam Ellis Riders probably arguably best running or best wide receiver. Olivera again, Kimmer, Trevorson, and Vernon Adams Jr. So we don't get a ton of rider content in here. Obviously, I will take all the rider cards I get. One more hit to go. My, I suspect it'll be another jersey card-ish kind of card. I, if it's, it could be another auto. But I feel like it's probably gonna be another jersey card. Boy, Brian Alexander again. Son Brown. So we should have high gloss. Oh, high gloss. Okay, that's good to see. So there's a high gloss to ten. Which, um, okay, the card itself is uh, the card itself is actually glossier. So you can see that on the camera there. It is actually glossier. So fair enough. It is actually a high gloss. 10 of 10, so bookend of Deshaun Allen. Not, I mean, this is what, O-line, right? O-line guys never get the love they deserve, but I don't know if I've ever pulled a high gloss out of CFL before, so we'll take it. It's glossy, and then CFL is this gold greatness? Yeah, this would be a game to greatness gold. Yeah, so our first greatness gold of Willie Jefferson. Good, we'll take that one as well. I mean, the golds are non-numbered. Okay, but... Another gold, Bryce Carter, base gold, and more base. What I will say is it is interesting to get two different versions of, like, the base parallels that are the same for, like, an insert end base. That's The upper deck doesn't usually do that in any sets. So that is at least a little unique. Jim McManus, Danbridge, Tim White, Beverett. So we got JJ Ouellette. Okay, well, this is actually more up-to-date than I thought. Maybe it's not as holdover as I thought, because this is... His first year with the Riders this year. It's a regular one, so I guess maybe I was wrong about that. Anyway, so there's Terry Williams. Deluxe of 250. 143, 250. Hard to get the jersey numbers. So we got Kieran Moore on the gold. Is there another CFL greatness gold of Demario Houston? CFL greatness and more base. All right, last hits in the last pack. All right, last pack. We actually had three CFL greatnesses in that one, so yeah, though. Ooh. All right, nice and thick one there, so at least we know it's not just a uh, regular game jersey. So that is either a patch to 35 or a signature. Should be a either a game patch, uh, autograph patch, game patch, or uh, one of one, but I feel like the one of one would be thicker than that, but maybe not, so we shall see. Cats and Tonus. We've got Demario Houston. We have a deluxe there of Nick Callender. We'll pull these guys off the back here. Whiteton McManus greatness there's Korzak again on the gold greatness and yeah, that's it for this one because it's so damn thick all right what do we got here so this is uh bc lion probably just gonna be a patch i don't see all right well we'll take it alexander hollands nice three color patch there so yeah this will be to 35 so 25 to 35 not jersey number but that's okay still a cool card and he is a wide receiver so that's a nice looking card nice patch i'll come off of Again, probably the other jersey with the white. So they're away jersey, probably. But good looking card. The thick cards, I have to say, for a thick card, it's in fantastic shape. Like it's other than eh, maybe not. I lied. There is a little bit of a little bit of damage at the bottom there. What can you do? But very nice patch. Low numbered card. We'll take it. Didn't have to you don't expect you don't always guarantee to hit this kind of a card in there. It could have just been another another jersey card or another uh, you know, low level autograph. So all right, so a roundup. So, again, exactly what I expected. You know, it's a decent decent quality-ish. It's always a little bit not quite the exact same like paper quality as you get with uh, with flagship and hockey, but still pretty cool. So you got a ton of these greatness inserts, gold versions of it, lots just gold in general because one per pack, you're going to get a ton of those. So short printed, but not super rare. But uh, all decent players for the most part with 100 set round set. Easy, easy chance to hit quarterbacks because, you know, there's just not that many players in the set, so... So these, these deluxe cards have definitely taken the place of uh, either they printed more this year or I don't know what the deal is, but last year, like, you you would get way more UD exclusives. I only got the one this year 
Whereas this this year they're almost all entirely uh, these out of two fifty. 250 exclusives, so I kind of watered it down a little bit. So just the one Dalton shown, at least it's a decent one on the exclusives. 100. Yeah, I've probably got four or five of these, I think, last last in 2023. So didn't get a high gloss, though. So Dijon Allen, nice high gloss. 10 out of 10, nice bookend there. So it actually is glossier. Well, that's about it. Um, yeah, so interesting. And then pretty standard hits for the most part, like uh, autos, an auto and a jersey card, pretty probably pretty much guaranteed in every box. So Nick Dembski, they are all sticker autos. What are you going to do? It's just the way it works. They just don't have the... UD, I just don't think Upper Deck has like the presence in Canada to like get them all like hard signed and just the time. And uh, it's just extra effort they just won't put in. So stickers, it is what it is. It's okay. And then, so yeah, base Brady Oliveira there. Again, very good running back. Running backs don't get the love that the quarterbacks do, but decent card. So that's numbered, non numbered for the regular game jersey. And then our nice patch of Alexander Hollands out of 35. So an unexpected, nice thick boy there. Would always prefer an auto or one of one, but you know, the low numbered patches are also nice too. So, and they always do put pretty nice patches in these from what I've seen. So we'll take it. So there you go. So, yeah, very niche product. If you don't have much interest in Canadian Football League, you're probably not going to have a ton of interest in that. But um, for the people who do like CFL, it's awesome that Upper Deck makes it. I really appreciate that. And uh, I enjoy collecting it. It's cool to still get three hits per box for, you know, 100 and some dollars. Still a little overpriced. It should probably be like a $90 set tops, but, you know, that's the way things work. And, uh, yeah, overall decent cards, decent haul. Um, not one I don't think I'd ever order. One box is probably good. I probably even have, you know, with 100 cards set, I probably darn near got the whole set there anyway, right? So pretty cool. Um, you can get some nice cards for fairly cheap. These obviously sell for pretty cheap online as well because just collecting market isn't really all there. So fun, cheap cards to collect. So there we go. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that one. Next week we got uh, Metal comes out next week as well as Team Canada. Team Canada I'm going to do for sure. Metal, we'll see. Metal historically has just not been good to me and I don't love it. So we'll see how it goes, especially with Bedard. It's overpriced. You know how it goes, but we'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.